Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the house. We're outside today, as you can see. It's it's uh it's nice out, like 32 degrees and sunny, but it's muddy, really, really muddy. And uh, I figured we got the tractor back here before it froze, so we'll uh, figure we'll see if we can get this big pine started. I don't know how much of it we'll get through today, simply because it's so big. <laughs> it's just, I don't know exactly how we're going to do it yet. Or we're just going to basically, we got chainsaw out here, so we're just going to whittle away at what we can. So let's have some fun. So I forgot that the other day when we were loading this log, I bet this in two places. And this is the, the slide that the head slides on, keeps it from tipping over this way. And it must be catching because I can't get past this point. So we need to fix it kind of quickly, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go down here and fix this one. Might as well, because I'm so much gonna be a problem when I get down here. I can see right here this this is level and this is not. Oh that was easy. Right a little too far actually. Unless I bent this side too a little. No, oh, look at that. Brand new. Let's fire back up, see if we can get through that. See what's going on.
getting better. <laughs> Got it back on there, we're ready to flip it, and we are out of diesel in the tractor. So, applause for the cause, we're ready to get some fuel. We'll be back. Well, that's about the craziest thing I've seen in a while. I went in to uh, get the diesel can, and it's full. It's never full. It's always empty. So, I'm assuming... I don't remember putting fuel in this thing, so... The wife must have filled it up last time she was up at the station getting gas for the wheelers. Because I don't remember filling up. I usually fill it up to put it in there, and then it's empty. Then I gotta go get some. But, whatever. We're back in business now. Good enough. So this is what we got. I don't know if it's going to clear or not. We're going to try it. Alright, so at this point, we're just going to take off some three and a half inch slabs, but I'm not on a scale that I can use. That was really loud. I'm not on a scale I can use, so I'm just going to measure from the blade up and get a reference point to start with. Should be about there, three and a half from the top. Drop it down just a notch, it'll shrink. So I think we're just going to take off three and a half inch slabs. Probably put them on the tractor and then put them back on, stand them up, rip them down an inch and a half. And that'll give us some two by fours. So that's the plan anyways. Well, that's about all we can take off of this face until we're going to run into the log stops, which I can't move. So I'm going to attempt to flip this thing 180 by hand. Probably going to be a bad idea. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, I was like, kidding. It wasn't bad at first. Then it got heavy. Anyways, get this without hitting it. Come on, girl. So now that we got a square cant for the most part on here, we can slide up right up against these stops and eliminate the log stops themselves. Something like that.
Okay, so basically what we have is four cans, three and a half inches. Each one's three and a half inches thick. I don't know how tall they are. I'm gonna say probably 20 inches. So we're gonna try to stand them up and we're gonna do two cans together. I'm not gonna do all four because that's just gonna be a lot of jacking around. So I'll just do this twice basically. Whoa, crap. Maybe. Okay. I set one kind of high and one kind of low. So right now it's looking pretty squared up. So we're just gonna go with it. So basically we're gonna start here on the six quarter scale. So we're just gonna slide down until our set is on the six. And we'll start with that cut. And then from there we just drop to each six following. And that'll allow for the curve for the blade and give us our finished two by fours. Well, we got those other two cans finished up. The camera's actually sitting on them right now. So we're gonna get these other two done because we are running out of sunlight. And with the sunlight, we're running out of temperature because it's dropping quick. It's getting cold. So we're gonna get this finished up and get out of here.
technically not, probably not really. I mean, it's 36 two by fours, but that was a lot of jacking around as you've seen, especially flipping that log off the back. That really made it difficult, but the only thing that make this video worth it is if you guys enjoyed watching it, I guess, because it, uh, it was a lot of work. So if you did, hit the uh, thumbs up button there and maybe the subscribe button if you want, but hit that thumbs up button. It helps everybody out, you know that. But our net, we got one more sitting right there. I don't know if it's worth it. It's probably not. <laughs>